day we call Christmas, and in the Heat's house, our fan base was stirring, their spirits aroused. The banners were hung in the rafters with care, with hopes that Heat Nation will soon return there. Our team takes the floor filled with passion and pride as visions of victories dance neat fires inside. Then onto the floor, there arrives such a clatter as shots are sent packing. The direction don't matter. But alas, our opponent, so lively and quick. Who indeed is this talent? It's the brow, not St. Nick. So we'll need a team effort to take down these odd birds. Defeat them we can, but with passes, not words. Inspired by our leaders, who show us great heart, they heed Coach Bo's mind. Play fast, but play smart. So familiar we are with each of their games that it fills us with joy to shout out their names. Go Chris Bosch and Young Josh, Amari and Dan. Bring Birdman and Bano, McBob and the gang. On Whiteside, on Winslow, on Dragic, D-Wade, on UD and GG, funky music parade. To the top of the basket, we ascend with great height to deliver our package, stocking stuffers delight. And with this, I exclaim that the tip is in sight. It's nearly that time, y'all. So with ball, let's take flight. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Fox Sports Sun. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good day, a day filled with NBA joy. The Heat and the Pelicans are the tip of the five-game spear, the first of four games over the next five days for Miami. Now that's just the season. Heat Nation, come on inside the Biscayne Bayside Studio. With Did the phone lock up? It didn't. Here we go. First corner. <laughs> Wade on the break. Oh, Is that a back door? That's a dragon. Look at that darty through on the bounce. Wade finishing beautifully in transition. John, I want you to watch D-Wade, because you know what? He's spinning and spinning and spinning with a finger roll. Nice work. Let's go to Davis right here. Break this man down. I mean, he gets on these boards and goes to work. Look how long he is, too, right there. If you don't put a body on that big fella, he stretches out those long pelican-like arms and will finish on top of you. That'd you like a, that? A brown pelican, the official pelican of the great state of Louisiana. That's a three-point shot. Let's move on. 27-15, Miami. Let's get second quarter action. I got a two-step. I got a floater. Come on. Oh. I need some aura Touch right it now. Touch it. Joyous points, everybody. Winslow. Sorry, I got some and one basketball. The old my son's move of the game. Brought to you by the youngster who made it back to the studio. What a phenomenal job, too. Six rebounds. I thought one of the most complete games of the year. He played nine points. Great job by Justin. Turn around. All on board right there. D Wade. And then Davis is back. Two hands and a brow. All involved in there. I'm not sure that's legal. 42 <laughs> 38 at the break. Let's go to the third quarter. Whiteside sighted. Evans apparently did not see that Whiteside was there. Denied. My goodness. So good. Four blocks for the big man, Whiteside, and he did it. Really threw out about three and a half quarters. Foot on the line. Bosch was like, mm, man, come on, I gotta move that foot back. I've got a 10-2 run brought to you by the Miami Heat, Dragon, Tadang, Luau, From the Edges, Splash. And then Winslow, he told us D-Wade wasn't happy with some of his three-point choices today. And when you're the rookie of the uh, franchise veteran, you hear about these things. I think he liked that. Uh, form was outstanding. Quick, quick catch and finish. Look at the follow-through, the spin, the rotation, and his balance continues to improve. And he knows the password is rejection. Gordon dealing with it right there. Run and catch a breather there. <laughs> Look, I ran all over the earth for that. 63-52 Miami. Let's go to the fourth quarter, shall we? Anderson, we told you about him. That, listen, you're going to get a three and a chest bump. I'll tell you what, he's got a high release point at 6'10". Quick release. you got to be on top of him to prevent that shot. Miami lead down to four there, and then the Pelicans take the lead there. An 18 to four run. There are a lot of runs in this game, man. And then it ain't easy being green unless you're Gerald with the rip and the finish. Two-point game. Miami with the lead here. 
But Gordon is tired of not being highlighted properly in our highlights, so he's going to provide a left-hand blow-by as soon as this revelry ends. Here we go. Give it to me. We are tied at 78. And then, drama. Brown with an opportunity to get him the ball. You should have saw Alvin. He said, will you please get our best player of the rock? <laughs> Did not matter. <laughs> Tied at 78. We need one more stanza. Who's got four o'clock reservations for a late lunch? Nobody. Let's go. Dang. Get that ball from Wade and do something with it. Trifecta, yeah. Three of them in the contest. Miami up three. And then Wade on Gordon. It, this is just a mismatch. It, well, I'll tell you, the really nice action, high post catch. He cuts hard off Bosch there with the handoff and was able to get open from 15 feet. Cleveland Clinic, team play of the game, allows us to call the bus driver. Nice look and one action. John, it's all yours one more time. Just the way these guys operated in the overtime period, the efficiency was awesome after a really tough fourth quarter. Really impressed with how they shot the basketball, uh, going four for six, uh, 16 points. That was incredible after really subpar second and fourth quarter where they were only able to score 15. How to make shots or go to the rim. Bosch showing you his outside shooting ability, stretching the floor. He got it going early uh, and then went inside to his mid-range game, back outside again, and really got aggressive in the second half, going in to the paint and making shots around the rim, drawing fouls, getting to the free throw line. Uh, Bosch finishing six of seven there, 30 points overall, uh, four assists, 10 rebounds, uh, you know, completely versatile. I mean, we're seeing some of the assists here, uh, finding Luel Dang, knocking down shots. Um, the ability here of Dang making plays. Uh, I, I thought he got his, his game going beyond the arc, three of five on nine points. Uh, great job there. Uh, but look, the matchup to me was impressive with Davis and, and Bosch. So Davis had 29 points between he and Bosch. I mean, to me, two of the most versatile players in the entire league. Dwayne has noted he has called in his bodyguards. It's very nice. Oh, they're locked in like Sentinels right now. What did it take to get this one nailed down? Not the prettiest game of the season, but yet another W. Yeah, extra five minutes. <laughs> um, you know, just an ugly game um, by both teams. But, you know, in this league, you got to win the pretty ones, you got to win the ugly ones. So it wasn't going right for us. You know, Chris had it going to keep us afloat. Um, but I think at the end, it just came down to we got some great stops and um, we got some timely buckets. You're pretty good on Christmas Day. Uh, I suck this year on Christmas. That's all right. Listen, it's, it's win number 10. Well, I guess if you play enough, you're going to have some battles on Christmas. So I've been blessed to be my, what, 11 game on Christmas? And, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. You know, I told my teammates locker room, I want to keep that record going. So, you know, we was able to do that. But um, it's a privilege playing on this day. Uh, you know the whole world is watching. And um, it's just great to be the first ones out the blocks. And now we get to watch. With all that being said, this is the beginning of four and five nights. Yeah. It's the best way to deal with that, knowing it's in front of you. Uh, we're about right now and then we're about tomorrow when tomorrow comes you know it's the nba schedule everybody got to go through it so you know this is when our team our bench um everyone become even that much more important you know coach is going to have to really go deeper into our bench so everybody got to be prepared and ready as we get you know tyler's on his way back you know gorman came back today so we get more full strength and we'll be okay and finally first returns for the all-star ballot came out you're the leading guard second leading vote getter in the East in season 13, I imagine you appreciate that support from your fans. No, I do. I mean, you know, obviously, as we've seen last year, you got to keep it up all the way through the end. Um, but it's always an honor for me to be looked at as one of the game's best. Um, you know, now I'm 13 years. I'm going on 34, so it's an honor for me to still be, you know, having the, the fans understand, you know, what I bring to the game of basketball. So keep it up. Keep voting. Don't stop. Heat Nation, you got to be down Canada this year. Yeah. All right, Dwayne, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Merry Christmas. D, D, and Z on their way out. Little time before heading to Orlando to continue this back-to-back. -back. But D Wade, the three-time champ, with three on his chest, with one of his assists to number one himself for one of the critical baskets on way to an overtime victory on Christmas Day. 94, 88, and it's picture time with DJ Collin. That's how you do it. There's yet another gift. 
Stay right there. We're coming back to wrap up the game and get to the Heat Live post game in just a moment. Heat win on Fox Sports. In overtime, 94 88. Heat basketball returns to Fox Sports Sun tomorrow night when the Heat take on the Magic. Coverage begins at 6 30 with Heat Live presented by Miller Lite, followed by the game at 7. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. Oh, we've got Reed and Fiorentino, Manso, and Crotty. We're like the reindeers, man. This is awesome. I'm Jason Jackson. Merry Christmas. We have the final take. It's gonna be a funky